Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Now back then they used to kiss people, you know, when they met them, just like they do in Europe, you know, kiss on each side of their faces. We don't do that here in the United States. Kiss with a, a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Peace. Say peace. 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 Lord God. God's peace comes as we trust Him, as we believe Him, as we stand in faith on His promise. His grace, when we receive what He has done for us, then we get peace. Say, I believe God. I, I believe, believe God. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now look with me over to Hebrews. Thank you, Father. Hebrews chapter 3. We're going to start with verse 6. And uh, actually this is, you know, God's breath is his peace. Amen. Okay? And this talks about God's breath, entering into God's breath. We're going to start with verse 6. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we? Say, we're God's house. We're God's house. The Bible says we are the temple. You know you're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You're not your own. You've been bought with Christ, the blood of Jesus. So we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And, and this temple, we have to... Paul said, I, I, I implore you, I beseech you, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove was that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Say, yes. God's, will God's will is, is, is good, good, is yes. acceptable, acceptable, is perfect. perfect. It's just one will. It's not like three different wills. It's God's will is good, God's will is acceptable, and God's will is perfect. Glory to God. Amen. It's God's will Amen. that you might prove or show forth the will of God in your life. If we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of hope firm until the end. The end of what? Well, the end of our lives or until Jesus comes back. we got to hold fast. You just know what Scripture says. Hold fast the profession of your faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. The profession means speaking what God says. It means keep saying what God says until Jesus comes. Yeah. Until you die or Jesus comes. Keep standing. How long do you stand? And until you've done all to stand, you just keep on standing. That's it. Right. Don't right. quit standing. Keep Mind. standing. Glory to God. Where? Where? Verse 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, and proved me, and saw my works, 40 years. Now they were griping and complaining. God was doing miracles for them every day when they were ill in the wilderness. Every day. And they were still griping and complaining. You know, we can be right in the middle of, of God doing a miracle, and we'll be griping and complaining sometimes. Yes. Yes. Shame on us. Come on. Come on. Shame on them. God judged them for that. God judged them for that. He said, Wherefore I was grieved with that generation. And said, do they, all, they do always err in their heart and have not known my way. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Nor they couldn't enter into the peace of God. Because, because they had cried to complain so much. God was tired of it. So he said, take heed, brethren. Say, brethren. brethren. He's talking to Christians. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Notice he said, don't stray. You know, the children of Israel, they were all delivered out of bondage. They all were. The whole nation of them. But then as soon as they got across the, the, the Red Sea and Moses went up on the mountain, then they started doing the evil things. They built it on an island. And they started doing evil things. And God was angry with them. Now here they saw all he had done for them. Some were 
first one. Twelve. Twelve. Take heed, brethren, that lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the, now before you can depart from the living God, you've got to be with him, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Now they were walking with God. He left them out of out of bondage of Egypt. And right. he's using this example. He's saying, take, be careful, lest you end up going back into unbelief, into party from the living God. But exhort one another day. While it is called today, that means every day we should be helping each other yes. walk in God's way. Yes. Sharing each other with each other how we can keep walking in God's way. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Did you know sin is deceitful? Yes, it is. Sin is deceitful. Sin will harden your heart. Now, because the people will tell you, oh, it's okay, you can go ahead and sin, you're still okay with God. That's a deception. It's the word says, be not deceived. Be not deceived. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Those who do all these evil things, none of them will inherit the kingdom of God. They shall not enter into the kingdom of God. That's the word of God. It says it all the way through. God never changes. He never has changed. He never will change. This is talking to Christians. Sound a Christian. I'm a Christian. This is talking to me. Hallelujah. So harden not your hearts as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke. Howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned? whose carcasses fell in the wilderness, and to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not. They did not have faith in God. They did not trust God. Even though they were walking in miracles every day, even though he was pouring out manna from heaven every day, finally they got tired of the manna. And so we don't like this, this soft bread. We, we're tired of this stuff. So he sent them a bunch of quail. And they ate all the quail they could. And then they were sick of quest. And they were griping and complaining. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Verse chapter 4, verse 1. Let us therefore fear. Let the promise they promise. promise. Being left us of entering into his rest. The way you enter into God's rest is by his promise. God has given us many great and precious promises that by these we might be become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. So we can stand on the promise of God, and by receiving the promise of God, we can enter into His rest. We cease from our own labors and just trust, trust, trust in God. And just trust in God. We cease from our own labors and let God have His way. And just trust Him. We believe God, right? God cannot lie, right? We need to believe like Abraham believed. You know, he just believed God. God said, you know, he, he told his son, God will provide a sacrifice. And God did. Now, now he was expecting to go ahead and sacrifice his son when he told his son that. But he said, God will provide a sacrifice. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God will provide. God will provide a way where there seems like there is no way. Trust God. Believe God. Enter into His rest. Give it to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us therefore fear less the promise being left of us of entering into His rest. Any of you should seem to come short of this. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. In other words, the gospel was preached unto them, just like it was preached unto us. But the gospel preached to them did not profit them. Why? It was not mixed in faith with them that heard it. said, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed, when you have belief, when you have exercised faith in the promise of God, 